Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on water flood. And today's topic is about frontal advance and oil sweeping. So let's go ahead. Previously, we talked about this water flood front. So you see, we have this schematic, we have injector, we have producer in the flooded reservoir. And you can see this blue zone and green zone, all right? And you can see this sort of barrier, all right, which is called water flood front. The water saturation at this front is SWF, and the water saturation ahead of this front is initial water saturation, if it is a new water flood, or you can also say irreducible water saturation, okay? And you can also say that ahead of the zone, this green zone is a oil zone that hasn't been flooded, whereas this blue zone behind the front is increasing in the water saturation, okay? This flooded zone has water saturation that keeps increasing as the water flood progresses, right? And you can read, behind the front, there is a gradual increase in water saturation from SWF up to the maximum value of one minus residual oil saturation, okay? So this is where we start, all right? So we expect the flood front will move with time, of course, away from the injector and towards the producer, okay? And of course, we also expect that the water saturation to be higher behind the flood front than in the front of the flood, okay? The water saturation here behind the front, of course, will be higher than the water saturation ahead of this front, okay? So we can see that, or we can also say that the water is now pushing the oil from the injection well or the injector towards the producer, okay? So again, the water, push the oil or the water sweep the oil or the water displace the oil from the injector towards the producer. So you can use words like push, sweep, or displace. But I think the most popular word is sweep, right? That's why we have a term called sweep efficiency, right? But you can also call it oil pushing or oil displacement. All right, so that's very important concept in water flood. And let's continue. Yeah, this is the frontal advance at breakthrough. Breakthrough means the water finally, for the very first time, reaches the producer. That's what we call breakthrough. And we can see the progression of the water saturation. Again, we have injector here. We have producer there. The distance between the injector and the producer is L, all right? And starting from water saturation of zero, all right? And you can see this is the water saturation at the front, SWF. And at breakthrough, SWF is here, all right? Okay, and you can see that the water progresses away from the injector towards the producer, okay? Which is indicated by the progression or the evolution of the water saturation. Okay, this is the SWF, the saturation at water flood front, moves towards the producer. And behind this SWF, we can see a gradual increase in water saturation, all right? Up to the maximum value of this, one minus SORW or one minus residual oil saturation. Okay, because the water cannot push the oil to finally completely eliminate the oil from the pore. Why is it that it is the maximum value of water saturation? Do you know? Yeah, because the water cannot completely eliminate or displace the oil from the pores. The water cannot completely 
eliminate all the oils from the pores. There will always be residual oil saturation. Okay. You can also imagine it like Carnot water saturation or irreducible water saturation. And for the oil version of it, we have residual oil saturation. So the maximum value of water saturation behind the flat front is one minus SORW. Okay, that's quite clear. This one. Okay, so at breakthrough time, you can see that the SWF finally reaches the producer. And if we want to average the water saturation throughout the reservoir or throughout the zone between this injector and producer, then it is called the SWBT bar or average water saturation at break to time. Okay, continue. What happened after the breakthrough? This is what we have. All right. At the producer, now the water saturation increases from previously SWF to SW2, right? Whatever the value, of course, the water saturation at the producer will increase from SWF, all right, at breakthrough to some value higher than that. And if you want to average the water saturation, then it is the SWBT. Right, still, this is the previous number of SWBT, this one. Okay, and as the water flood continues, the average water saturation now is increased also. All right, now we have SW2 bar or the average water saturation at this final condition after breakthrough or at this current condition after breakthrough. Okay, so in this video, we learned that the water is sort of pushing the oil or sweeping the oil or displacing the oil towards the producer. And we also understand the progression, the increase or the evolution of water saturation in reservoir section between the injector and producer under study. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or you can also comment and share. And see you again in the next water flood videos. Thank you.